Hey guys, welcome to episode 17 of this uh, City Skylines weekly playthrough. Quite a few sort of problems showing in the city here this week. It's not too bad, I'm sure it's okay. Uh, last week we were topping up on our schools, getting all that all sorted, and we've gone to, over to Industry 4.0. So we've got a little bit of industry filled up now in the area, the light blues. But it's going to start filling up more. We can put down loads more residencies, I think, so I'm going to do that and expand every area around the city this week. Also our metros underground, we've been working on those. Uh, we've got them in the middle, but they're not all started yet. But we've got them starting to come off and going around, going to go around in loops. It's harder to see. There we go. Let's put some colours on there for you, so you can see it. So we'll get started this week. Crack on. Uh, something else I want to show you as well. So here's the traffic. We're at 88% efficiency. If you go to the more red areas, you can see here's a little bit of a traffic jam. So if I wanted to sort that area out, I could work on it and try. So I've seen there's quite a lot of areas with these flashing icons and mainly they mean not enough goods to sell and it's the commercial areas, the dark blue areas, the shops, not enough goods to sell so I suppose we'd be importing our goods from outside the city. So I've changed back some of the office areas here to the yellow industry and set them to just generic so we'll make some of our own goods. I set this area here back to yellow, uh, this area down here are yellow as well. So those, those three yellow areas I'm hoping maybe they'll create our own goods enough. Uh, I'll build some yellow up here as well and they can produce goods for our city. So we've just extended this area up here. We're going to fill it with loads of industrial now as well. So as you can see, we've massively increased the area of Oriental Hills. Uh, I'm going to make it all dense industrial and residential and all that rather than low industrial. It's going to be uh, yeah, dense. Let's do that now. Our population at the moment is 26,700. Once doing this, and we've got plus 22 showing there, it's uh, seriously going to start increasing with this. That's that area filled in. Now we just need to sort out the water for it. So I just came across this area again. It's quite a nice little busy area. With a five point crossroads, that isn't great. That may get real busy later. Uh, they're going quite fast up and down this road here. So I was like, well, where's, where's that going then? Where's that? I can't remember where that's going. It's going up towards the industrial oil industry area up here. Oh, they're going up and down that quick. Nice bit of highway there. Ooh. All right, guys. Yeah, that's going to cause a problem as well, isn't it? So this area obviously does have a problem. Uh, I need to do something about this, sort something out. And this is also a perfect example of why I build the larger roads early on because these two smaller roads here I just can't even handle it uh, and it's not even that busy this dense area I suppose there's a lot of people living here so it does need larger roads. That took a little while. Okay, as you can see, there's loads of sort of gaps in the residences and stuff that I will be filling in. There's other problems like uh, the bus route there is a problem, I'll sort that. There's also the metro station I had to move across here because the road's now wider. A few demolished build, uh, buildings need demolishing, stuff like that. Let's just see what the uh, traffic flow's like now with this. Uh, they're already sort of lined up on it because I've unpaused it briefly a few times. Let's just make sure there's a traffic lights there. We don't want traffic lights. Let's 
turn them off. Everyone just go. Everyone go, 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 go. Mostly they'll all be okay. But otherwise we might have to put some sort of one-way system in or something else. A bypass. That's gonna, I think it's gonna ease the problem for a while. Don't know if it'll solve it, but when we get this road up and running, that'll take a lot of traffic straight off the highway. And that will really help, I think, get people down this end of the city. Well, let's finish off sorting out this area. Oh, and it's showing that we've lost nearly 6,000 people because of that. There we go. Okay, so we just need to let this area build up again now. Just putting in our second highway up here, connecting it up. And we've connected it this end. Now let's change this one the other way around. Alright, so there we go, that's our highway finish that goes up here. Won't be too long before they start using that. See, one of the really good things about this game is the, the balance. See, now that all the shops are running out of goods, with the dark blue ones, you see that? They're all running out of goods, and I think obviously because I haven't got these yellow areas as much anymore, they're only just building up again, they can't import enough goods from the city. So you do need the yellow areas. I think it was in the last episode I said to you, you didn't need the yellow areas anymore. You don't put people to work, but for your city to get enough goods in, it does help to have a fair few of these yellow areas. So I think I might build uh, put some more up in some places. We may not have any goods to sell, but at least we've got efficient traffic and everyone can get to those stores to buy those goods. Not that they can buy anything when they actually get there. Oh, traffic jam to sort out. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just too many buses coming into this station. There's too many on each line. Metros. Metros is the answer. I just added two more metro stations here. Just see them in the screen with those green glows coming off them. I'm going to join them up to the pink line. This bit here. That pink line there. I'm going to make them into a complete loop. We've got the uh, shops filling up along the back here. A few more dark green areas to go in. Dense residential, dense commercial. There we go, so you can see that they're, they're slowly going to fill up. Yeah, so this area has all been upgraded now, as you know. This is a lot, lot better for traffic, but it's empty. So we've got 22,000 residents. We're only getting 14 grand coming in a month. So it's still slowly building up more. We can extend this oil industry soon, once all these get full up. Not quite full yet, but once this lot gets full up, I'm sure it will be. So we're just getting closer and closer to joining up our metro here. Running low on cash again, as you can see. Always running low on cash. We've got a fair bit done on the metro this episode. We're going to leave it there this week, but I will finish off this part, either on the recording or afterwards. As you can see, 18,600 odd down the bottom there, so that was 14,000 odd. So we're starting to get the money back in now. Even though the population's still only 22,000 odd. We haven't got all the population back in yet. So hopefully we're on our way to a big cash boost with all this extra population. And there's the new line finished. The pinky, purpley, bluey two lines. So we'll leave episode 17 there this week. Really appreciate you watching the video guys. I hope you like it. Leave us a comment. 
Take it easy. <laughs>